Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking painting and we are going to show you how we paint trim that has carpet below it. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, here is the room that we are painting. We already painted the walls. Now it's time for the baseboards or trim. As you can see here, I have already applied some blue tape. What we'll do is come down and the trick is getting this actual tape underneath the trim. I'll pull out some tape and show you how to do that. All right, here is a very long piece of tape and you can take it in different sections, but what you wanna do is apply the tape and on the bottom portion of the trim, you wanna apply the tape about an eighth of an inch up on the trim. From here, what you'll do is you will push down and as you apply that downward pressure, you also wanna pull back on the carpet. And once you pull back on the carpet, you can then apply forward pressure and tuck that tape underneath the trim. Let me change camera angles and show you. So from here, again, apply pressure. You'll notice the tape is applied up on the bottom portion of the trim. Push down, pull back, and push forward, setting that tape underneath that trim, just like that. See that? Run your finger along, verify that the tape is fully underneath the trim, and you're ready to paint that. I wanna show you a corner piece. I use the exact same method. Apply the tape on the bottom portion of the trim, push down, pull back on the carpet, and push forward with the tape. And as you can see, the tape itself goes underneath the trim. Here's a view from above, and as you can see, that tape gets pretty conveniently placed and set underneath the trim. And what I will do is continue around the entire room and prep this for painting. Make a progress at this point. We have got the entire baseboard or trim all prepped for painting. Next thing we're going to do is begin painting. I'm going to use a paintbrush and I'm actually going to use this three inch roller premium white woven. Got it at our local Home Depot. Also purchased a couple replacement rollers and we chose weathered white. Next, I went ahead and opened up the three inch roller. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to keep that for a container. And I bought these, these were $1.29. I poured the paint in the tray and I'm going to start with my paintbrush. And same corner we just showed you and moving forward with the tape, I'm going to apply just a little bit of paint and I'm going to paint the very bottom portion and that's gonna help work it to the bottom of the trim. From here, I'm going to switch to the roller. And the reason why I'm using a roller is because I'm going to alleviate any and all brush marks as I paint the trim. Just like that. And as far as that little etch, I'll just be extremely careful as I move up on the trim to alleviate hitting the wall because we just recently painted the wall. And I will continue this entire process the entire way around the room. Again, that paintbrush helps get the paint down in that lower portion of the trim a lot better than the roller can. However, if you use the roller and apply a lot of pressure, I'm sure it'll get in there, but we are going to continue with the paintbrush and roller. Here I am coming into a corner. Again, prepping goes a long way. I'm using this paintbrush to get far down on the trim. Work it into that bottom portion that the tape goes under, and then I'm just applying the roller. And do your best not to apply a lot of pressure on this roller because when you do, it will not roll. So just keep that in mind. And again, I'm going very slow in that little indent top portion of the trim. And from here, positioning the roller on the tape and getting rid of any and all brush marks. I have now painted all trim starting at the lower left-hand corner of our bar area. 
and going all the way around to this point here. Next step is important. We do not want that paint to dry before we peel up that tape. And the reason why is because in the event that we let that paint dry overnight and come back here in the morning and peel that tape up, chances are it will peel the paint right off your trim. That would not be good. Be very careful as you pull this tape away. Just carefully pull it from underneath the trim. And just be advised, this paint is still wet. So when you remove it, make sure you place it in a safe location, preferably a trash. And again, just carefully pull it away from underneath the trim. In the event that this was dry, all this paint could peel right off, and that's the last thing you want. Patience, go very slow, and just pull all this off. Making progress. I've got all the tape up, and from here, I'm going to clean up and show you the end result of the room. Now, in the event that you do have a little bit of leftover paint on your carpet, you can just take a flathead screwdriver, push down, and push that carpet back up under the trim because we did pull this carpet up and out as we removed that tape. So you see just a little bit here. Again, push it down and under. That'll hide any and all imperfections. All right, DIYers, we finished up our project here and we even installed a magazine rack. Check that out. And we've got a set of nugget couches as well. And down below in the comment section, as well as the description section, are links on how to install a magazine rack, as well as these floating shelves for your bar area. Definitely check those out. You might find them helpful. And from here, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.